Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at types of sequences so we can answer questions from exercise 3H. Now certain sequences are given certain labels um, and we've got a few labels that we're going to look at here today. A sequence which is increasing is if un plus 1 is bigger than un for all n existing in the natural numbers. So this basically means here that the sequence of numbers is always getting bigger each time, strictly bigger. It can never go to the same number as before. It always has to get bigger. A sequence which is decreasing follows a similar pattern. It always has to get smaller each time, and that's every single time. It can't just jump up whenever you feel like it and then start going back downwards again. It has to go down every single um, number in the sequence. And a sequence which is periodic is if the term repeats in a cycle. So sometimes it repeats in a cycle of two, maybe a cycle of three, maybe a cycle of four, um, but it repeats in a cycle. Okay, the number of terms in the repeating pattern is known as the period or the order of the sequence. So let's have a look at a few examples here. This sequence here is always going up by 3 each time. It starts at 7, so we can see here that if we were to generate the first few terms, we are obviously going to get an increasing sequence. For the next term here, we're going to get square numbers, but we're going to start at a half. So we're squaring the number before. So in this case here, squaring a half will give us a quarter. Squaring a quarter will give us a sixteenth. Squaring a 16th will give us 125th, and it looks like we're getting smaller and smaller and smaller each time. Um, so in this case here, squaring a number is actually a decreasing sequence. It depends upon where your sequence starts at that's important. Okay, another question here, sine uh, 90n, so when n is 1, we get um, 1. When u is 2, we get 180 now. Sine 180 is 0. Um, u3, that's when we have sine of minus 90, sorry, sine of uh, 270, which is minus 1, and um, sine of 360 is 0, and sine of 450 is 1 again. And just compute a few more terms just to make sure. Yeah, it looks like it's going around in a sequence now. So it looks like every four multiples of 90 that we get, the sine curve repeats itself. And that makes sense to us because the sine curve repeats itself every 360 degrees. So yes, that would make sense. The sequence here will be periodic with an order of four. Okay, so note that some sequences won't be won't be able to be described as any of these. Okay, right, your turn to have a go at a couple of questions here. Then pause the video and try these two out. <clears throat> right. Okay, then. So the first question here: sequence of numbers u one, u two, u three, blah blah blah. Uh, is equal to un plus 1, which is equal to k times un, um, where u1 is equal to 5. Find the range of values for k for which the sequence is strictly decreasing. So it decreases every time. Okay, well, if k was 1, then it would just be 5 every time, so it can't be 1. So it's have to be less than 1, otherwise it's going to increase every time. Um, and if it was zero, then it would just, the next term would be zero, but then every term from then on must be zero as well. So if you've got any number in between zero and one, then that's going to effectively multiply it by a fraction each time. And if you continually multiply by a fraction, then you're going to get a number that uh, tends towards zero or it gets smaller each time. Let's just talk about k equals a half, because some of you may have had the answer that it may be in between minus 1 to 1. This is not correct, because if we were to try minus a half, then we would get, well, the first term, the second term in the sequence would be minus 5 over 2. 
but this third term in the sequence would be um, my, uh, plus 5 over 4 because we've got a double negative effect happening now on the minus half and the minus 5 over 2. And from here to here, <coughs> we have increased. So because we have increased, the sequence is now no longer a decreasing or an increasing sequence. It's just a sequence without a label to it. So this here is not allowed. It's only for this region of K. OK, question four. The sequence with recurrence relation UK plus 1. Sometimes it's N, sometimes it's Ks. It doesn't really matter what the subscript letter is. Uh, K plus Q, where U1 is equal to 5, uh, and Q is equal to 13, is a periodic with order 2. Find the value of P. OK, so what we want to do then is, um, if it has a period of 2, then it's going to go to 5, different number, back to five, different number, back to five, different number, back to five, different number. So we want to set u3 equal to five as well. So this here is the key for the question. Let's work out u2 first. So we're going to get five times p plus 13 as our value for u2. Uh, and then next we'll have to set <coughs> u3 equal to p times u2, which is 5p plus 13. So we're now substituting u2 into this formula here to work out u3 uh, plus 13. And this has to equal 5. So let's expand the brackets. 5p plus 13, so p squared plus 13p um, plus 8 equals 0. So in this case here, we now need to solve the quadratic. So in this case here, we're going to get a 5p and a p. And um, 8 and 1. Uh, yes, uh, if we put the 1 here and the 8 here, then we're going to get a 1 times 5p is 5p. 8 times p is 8p. 5p add 8p is 13p. So in this case here, p is either equal to minus 8 over 5, or p is equal to minus 1. OK. Um, yeah, so that's the answer there then. OK, so have a go at um, some of the questions from exercise 3h then. Have a go at the problem-solving ones and the, um, and the exam-type questions. Um, yeah. Have a go at the difficult ones, ask your teacher if you need any help with any of them, and thanks very much for watching.